especially when seasoned with salt and vinegar. Balut is absolutely a must-try Filipino favorite street food. Sama anak saya Abel, kita buat reaction video di ph.net channel ya. Aso, dia punya link ada di description kita. Kalau kamu mau tengok lagi about food review, ada dia punya channel ini. Memang hebat dan menarik perhatian dia. Ialah itu makanan makanan. Sebab kita sekarang tidak boleh keluar dari rumah. Terpaksa kita tengok sejak makanan di TV ini dan dia travel untuk kita dan mana tahu kita tiru untuk makan makannya. So kita tengok dulu ini yang Filipino street food. Twenty must try street food in the Philippines. They're planning to visit the Philippines soon. Something you must try is the country's street foods. Filipino street foods are not just very affordable, but they're also very tempting and will tempting. definitely make you drool. You'll surely see street foods everywhere in the country since Filipinos love for food is unparalleled. Lugaw! Okay. Choices Lugaw. for street foods in the Philippines is endless, and so we only included some of the most popular ones. What the banana bazaar? Without further ado, here's the list of popular Filipino street foods you must try when traveling to the Philippines. Let's start with the very famous balut. This list wouldn't be complete without this partially developed duck egg embryo that is boiled and eaten from a shell. Many foreign travelers might be scared to try or think of this street food mm. as gross, especially the embryo part, but it's actually a great exotic food, especially when seasoned with salt and vinegar. Balut is absolutely a must-try Filipino favorite street food. Oh Another Filipino favorite street oh. food is fish bowl. Fish bowl! These might be the cheapest street food you'll encounter around the streets in the Philippines, and they're also probably the most popular Filipino street food. Most Filipinos grew up eating fish bowls. These are made from fish meat, flour, corn. Ini kalau kalau di Manila saya sana kan, saya bangun jam tiga petang mesti saya mau beli fish bowl. And then fish bowl ini macam fish bowl ini macam hantu di mana mana sejak ada. Peace ball, ball peace. Starch and flavorings, which are deep fried and served or dipped in either sweet or spicy sauce. Wow, hot dog. Hot dog, kiki am. Hot dog sana. The peso. The the pe hot dog sana lah in dia merah. Let's do play. Besides fish balls, kikiam, squid balls and chicken balls are also great Filipino street foods you must try. These street foods with Chinese origin are usually sold by the same street cart vendors that sell fish balls. Kikiam is a sausage-like dish that is made mainly from minced pork and chopped shelled prawns, while squid balls are made from squid, fish meat and flour. Chicken balls, on the other hand, are also made from the name itself. Chicken balls. Minced chicken is its main ingredient. All these are deep fried by the vendors in their food carts and are served with your preferred sauce, vinegar, sweet or a spicy fish ball sauce. Yes, ini manis. Yeah. Tapi masalah dia kan, gua masuk. Ini masuk. Nanti orang lain masuk. Oh, so itu saya saya tidak suka. Sama ini, mana tadi? Ini, tengok di depan gereja, patut kamu tidak menjual di depan gereja. Kan, tidak boleh, bang. Tidak boleh, baju. Tapi, saya tidak tahu lah. This next one is the Filipino version of the noodle soup, which is called mommy in the Philippines. Mommy! So these are usually found at restaurants. Nah. They are also often sold around many streets in the Philippines. Mommy comes with either pork, chicken, or beef flavor. Lugaw is also a very popular Filipino dish that is common on Philippine streets. This is a glutinous rice porridge which is simply flavored with patties or fish sauce and toppings like garlic chips, crushed pepper, and green onions. 
When Lu Gao comes with innards of either pig or cow, it's called goto. Goto. Another goto. type of Lu Gao is the Aris Kaldo, which unlike Aris goto, Kaldo. this rely heavily on ginger and comes with chicken meat. These are usually served with soy sauce, fish sauce, and calamansi. Next on our list is empanada. This is a type of fried or baked pasty filled with minced or chopped meat and other ingredients, which is popular in Southern Europe, Latin American countries, and the favorite snack and street food in the Philippines. Empanadas are also sold in some restaurants and at malls in the country, but are frequently sold as street food. It's usually hot and humid year-round in the Philippines, and that's why they have sorbetas to beat the heat. This is commonly known as dirty ice cream in the Philippines. Sorbetas ito nama nama orang jual ice cream. Oh yeah. Yeah. Actually, kami panggil ice cream juga sama aja. Sorbetas has now become a very popular Filipino ice cream, which are commonly sold by peddlers along the streets. Lima peso. Luneta, Labetes, Sorbetes. Malam juga Sorbetes, Sorbetes. Here's one more famous summer dessert in the Philippines. Halo halo consists of various ingredients such as sweet fruits. Bukan halo halo. Halo halo. Nya maksud dia kalau halo halo maksud dia tu mix. Mix atau apa? coconut, ube, sagu or tapioca pearls and other ingredients that are mixed together along with shaved ice. This is absolutely a must find in the Philippines. Yeah. They are mostly sold during summer, but are still always found everywhere in the country the whole year. When you want a sweet street food snack to eat while in the Philippines, then you must also try to run. To run. This typical Filipino snack and dessert is made of sliced bananas and brown sugar. It also commonly contains a slice of jackfruit, then rolled in spring roll wrappers, and deep fried into golden and crispy. Oh, the man is the one. Can you see it? Yeah. Wangi. Lamkang toge is also a must try. This popular street food is also a spring roll recipe made from mixed vegetables with mung bean sprouts as its main ingredient instead of meat. This is one of the all-time favorite snacks of Filipinos, which is usually sold together with another favorite spring roll recipe, Lungkang Shanghai, which is a mixture of ground meat and vegetables, then fried till it's golden brown. Quick, quick! Now get the tongue to cut. Wow, aran banyak. Cheese sticks are also a very affordable and delicious deep fried street food snack filled with slices of cheese then wrapped in spring roll wrapper. These are served with a pink dip made from a mixture of ketchup and mayonnaise. When in the Philippines, you'll also often encounter hawkers around the street selling taho early in the morning. This is a classic Filipino sweet treat made yeah. of silken tofu and tofu. Tau ini dari dulu sampai sekarang memang ada tau. Ini memang klasik sudah lah. Tapioca pearls and sweet brown sugar syrup. This is one of the most popular dessert in the country that is enjoyed by Filipinos and is absolutely something to not miss. Tau, macam mana kita buat? Tau also comes with other flavors like strawberry, which are only available in some parts of the country. Another very famous Filipino street food is banana cube. Banana cube is a sweet treat made of deep fried bananas coated in caramelized brown sugar and then skewered on sticks. Besides banana cube, you should also try the kamota cube, which is prepared in very similar way as banana cube, but with slices of kamota or sweet potato instead of bananas. In many countries, male baby chicks are usually disposed of by hatcheries because they are considered an unwanted byproduct for egg production. But in the Philippines, male one-day-old chicks are deep fried and are usually disposed of and around the streets instead of being disposed of. The deep fried one-day-old is also a popular Filipino street food that some would not dare to try, but it's actually a great exotic food, especially when dipped in vinegar or chili sauce. 
mau. What? Yang itu sudah saya tidak mau. Kalau mau macam kesian. Tatut kumur saja kan. One of the most iconic Filipino streets is Isaw. Isaw na. Tinay, apa ayam? Tinay, tinay ayam buli, tinay, itu nak tinay. Tinay itu pun buli. Apa pun yang tinay pun buli, jangan tinay orang. This is another cheap but very delicious and popular street food in the country. Sama jual ada plastik semua orang. And lastly, here are two absolute favorite street food which you can find everywhere in the country. Tekneneng and Kwek Kwek are a beloved Filipino street food. These are hard boiled eggs that are coated with an orange batter then deep fried until the batter is crispy. Only difference of the two is Kwek Kwek are traditionally made with duck eggs while Tekneneng are made with quail eggs. These two are a very famous Filipino street food and are a very common... Kwek Kwek itu... Kwek-kwek itu dia daripada itik punya telur. telur Jadi yang satu itu, apa itu, tok neneng itu daripada ayam. Dia berlainan ah. rasa dia. Berianda or snack in the Philippines. Betul-betul yang semua besar. Here are other great street foods you definitely should uh, try when in the Philippines. Some of these street foods are probably available in other countries. But trying them out in the Philippines, especially around the streets in the country, is an experience that will make your travel to the Philippines special and even more unforgettable. Wah, itu dia. Memang bikin bikin lapar lah kalau jalan di Manila itu. Di mana mana sedia kau nampak street food jenya. Sebab mungkin itu yang paling paling senang memenjaga tidak perlu ambil lesen. Just tarik meja di luar. Kau buat bersih-bersih, orang nampak bersih So, boleh makan Apa kau jual sana? Memang lagu sebab begitu ramai Orang di Manila Manila, orang suka street food Ya, lagi Lagi orang sana suka makan beli luar daripada masak dalam rumah Yes Of course, dia ada jimat sikit lah So guys, kalau kamu mau tahu yang kita punya mau review untuk video makanan-makanan Boleh send di Facebook Ataupun di Leto Balbo Instagram. So, kita akan review di next video. Terima kasih banyak-banyak. Jangan lupa komen dan subscribe channel ini. Bye. Terima kasih banyak-banyak.